10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, ignition, good. We got lift off. Oh, what a beautiful sight. Oh, look at those mock diamonds. So pretty. Oh, that's a new view. Oh man. SC2, please prepare for section. Look at those three raptors go, baby. Go, baby, go. T plus 30 seconds. Starship 10 has that. lift off. It's headed to 10 kilometers on its test flight from Boca Chica in Cameron County, Texas. Hmm. Listen to that roar. So pretty. You can hear the Doppler effect as it's getting farther away. The frequency gets lower and lower. Come on, show us the engines. Give us that view. There we go. Man, those things gimbling in harmony. So pretty. Man, I do not, I want no part of the math of those, uh, <laughs> that stability code, man. That is, uh, that's some heady stuff. These guys are brilliant, though. Coming up on T plus two minutes, we're getting ready to transition from three engines to two engines firing on Starship be shutting one engine off that's intentional thanks for letting us know John Let's see if they can pull it off nice that fire is understandable I guess this methane is easy to leak and you get a little bit of unburned stuff on shutdown man you can really see the uh, under expanded plumes, I, I'll explain. Uh, nozzles basically work by converting pressure to velocity. The higher the velocity, the faster the rocket will go. Uh, however, at sea level where the external pressure is very high, you can't expand it, as it's called. You can't trade in too much pressure because then the outside pressure is significantly higher than the pressure in the nozzle counting starship coming up on eight kilometers altitude we're getting ready to shut down the second engine this is intentional Thanks again john um and you can create a shock wave in the nozzle um oh, very nice very yeah, it nice. was very nice which you can actually destroy the nozzle so okay, but as you get switch over to the header tank for as the you get higher and higher uh, the external pressure drops and so the flow is under expanded so it expands out more it's pretty cool man what they're doing right now is pretty ridiculous hovering with a giant rocket man oh man okay I'm gonna come back up when we hit 10 kilometers right about in three seconds Coming up on T plus four minutes, we're at 10 kilometers. We've gone into the hover. We're still being powered by the single Raptor. We've got John Innsbrucker uh, unscripted there. He forgot his mic was on, it sounds like. <laughs> Having some issues there, but that's pretty neat. Oh, man. Look at that thing. What a sight. Oh, man. T plus four minutes and 40 seconds. Starship has transitioned. It's flipped to the horizontal mode. 
beginning the descent back to the landing zone. Man, it's really flying this time. Oh man. You can see uh you can see some vortices forming at the top of the rocket there. That's cuz it's a lower pressure area and that uh that steam that's escaping whatever that gas is is just kind of creating these little whirlies on the top of the rocket. I'm presuming that venting is to keep the plumbing lines chilled as they as they say when you're cryogenic super super cold if you don't keep the lines at about the same temperature you can get boil off uh, if you s slam open the valve and all the flow comes you can get just rapid boiling and that'll that'll quite literally probably destroy your system it'll blow up so you have to just trickle a little bit coming up on five minutes 45 seconds we're down below two kilometers. We're preparing to light oh, three those reactor wing engines vortices. to begin the flip sequence. It'll culminate with landing on the landing pad in both. See if they can do it this time. See if they can do it. Oh man, it's really coming. Oh, oh, they got all three. Oh man. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh boy. They might just do it. Oh, they might just do it. Got a little flamey there. Ooh. Ooh, no fireball. No fireball. There's fire, but no fireball. There's a difference. Oh boy. Oh, it's still sanding. America, baby, let's go. Oh, they did it. That's huge. That's huge. They have some problems with it, though. <laughs> but hey, the physics works. If not, uh, if not uh, entirely as they planned, they've proven the physics work, and that's a uh, that is huge. Oh man. Hope they can put that fire out, though. Third time's a charm, as the saying goes. We've had there a successful go, soft touch gun on the landing pad. That's capping a beautiful test flight of Starship 10. As a reminder, the key point of today's test flight was to gather the data on controlling the vehicle while re-entering, and we were successful in doing so. We had a nominal ascent. We had the maneuver to place Starship horizontal the fire when we reached 10 kilometers right on time. And then during the subsonic entry, it appears we had good control of the vehicle good, using good, the front good, and good, aft good. flaps. And as we approached the landing pad, we successfully lit the three Raptor engines to perform that flip maneuver. And then we shut down two of them and landed on the single engine as planned, a beautiful soft landing of Starship on the landing pad at Boca Chica. Man, they still got a lot of fuel in there. Congratulations to the Starship team in Texas. Pump, that is. They've steadily increased the test launch cadence over the course of the program and have delivered some of the most exciting test flights many of us have seen in a long mm -hmm. time. The Texas team has several more suborbital test vehicles in build with number 11 ready to roll out to the pad in the very near future. It's an inspiring time for the future of human spaceflight. Thanks for joining us today. And we hope you'll join us for the next oh, test will, flight John. of Starship Thank 11. Thank you. Now praying, please let this video save normal. So if it was a slightly a little faster whoa. than expected. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god. There you go. There's your methane leak. Yes. <laughs> That's your... Folks, boom! Wow! <laughs> and that's why we weren't running replays. Exactly. <laughs> so funny story about cameras. They don't record when they're not recording. Yep. Also, apparently the camera app on my computer which